Hello Cancer, this is Renee and welcome to my channel if you're new. If you're returning, thank you. I appreciate all of your support, all your likes and subscribes. And if this reading resonates, please like and subscribe, hit the bell, and also share and comment below. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. Cancer, this is your reading. We're going to take a look at your current energy um, towards love. We're going to also take a look at what's coming in for you. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. We're going to take a look at how open you are to receiving new love. We're going to look at any challenge that you will face and we will take a look at your advice okay cancer what do we have for cancer and love january 1st through the 15th what do we have for cancer and love okay we have self-acceptance <clears throat> i'm losing my voice here so i apologize and the answer is yes. Whatever it is you're thinking of, Cancer, the answer is yes. We also have signs and reminders. You know what? I'm going to pick one more as well. We also have joy and contentment. So, Cancer, <clears throat> I feel like... I feel like you're very hopeful for the new year. I feel like you're very hopeful in love. You may be in a relationship already. Um, if you're single, I feel like you're you're doing the work on yourself. You're finding joy in whatever you're doing. You're being content. <clears throat> and Cancer, I feel like Especially last year with the readings, I feel like you're you're feeling like you always get the short end of the stick when it comes to love. <laughs> and I know it's not the case, Cancer, but you know, and I feel like you're changing your outlook on love. You're changing your the way you view it. We have the Judgment card. We have the Hermits. Oh, the Moon. Okay, lots of Major Arcana coming out. We have the King of Wands. The Devil. The Fool. Now, all of these are major arcana except for one. Are you serious? The Wheel of Fortune. I promise I'm not doing this on purpose. Wow. The Star. The High Priestess. <clears throat> and the Five of Pentacles. Wow. 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 That's all I can say, <laughs> Cancer. This reading is like... Ooh. Okay, we have the King of Cups on the King of Cups, the Knight of Cups on the bottom, Cancer. So I feel like this huge love is coming through for you. And I, I feel like someone is bound to make an offer. If you're already in a relationship, this is life changing. This is, oh my goodness, wow, fantastic, amazing. You know, um,. You're definitely not getting a short end of the stick of this one. <laughs> definitely not. But Cancer, <clears throat> like I said, I feel like, you know, someone's going to approach you if you are single. I feel like your, your vibrations are so high. You're just really anticipating the best. And as I look at all of these major arcana, I'm like, in awe, I want to be a Cancer right now. 
you have the judgment, the hermit, the moon, the devil, the fool, the will of fortune, the star, the high priestess. It's just, this is life changing, Cancer. Okay, Cancer. Let's get started. <clears throat> I'm really feeling like you're, you're going through this spiritual awareness, Cancer. You're going through this spiritual awakening. And I feel like you are, you're, you're really coming into your own. You have your heart and your mind on healing, on being renewed, on having faith that something powerful is about to happen. I feel like whatever it was in the past, I, I feel like it was a, a total change in your perspective. It was a wake-up call. A wake-up call for you to make change. A wake-up call for you to be enlightened, to you know, take time in yourself, look within and make changes that you needed to take. But I feel like that's been a journey. I feel like you're going on a journey to find that special one. And I feel like with this King of Wands, I feel like they're coming in very fiery, very passionate, very assertive. They're coming in to heal your heart, free you from the blocked things in your life. You know, things that are blocking you, things that were blocking this progress, things that were keeping you single. I feel like this King of Wands is coming in to break the mold, you know, to to heal you, heal that perspective, heal that that side of you. It's like being addicted to to something and not having control over it. That's what this blockage was feeling like. It was feeling like it was holding you back, like it was locking you down. And I feel like you're you're being freed. You're being freed from any blocked energies, from any blockages. You have the fool <clears throat> and the will of fortune. This is a huge change that's coming into your life. This is taking you on a whole different journey in your life. It's, it's just going on a new adventure taking a wonderful new perspective taking all the risks in love taking all the risks in you know your life i feel like with the full will of fortune and the fool it's like your <laughs> your possibilities are just endless you're definitely going on a new path you're taking more chances you're having a fresh clear perspective you have a lot of hope for what's coming in this year you also have a lot of healing this is a lot of healing energy the star usually comes after the tower so this star is healing balance from a unwanted change and I don't necess necessarily feel like this Full and where will of fortune is unwanted change. I feel like this is necessary change, but it's also offering you healing and balance from this change. It's kind of balancing out what you have to go through to get to your destination. <clears throat> You also have the High Priestess. So Cancer, I feel like you're really following your intuition. You're, you're learning the secrets that were keeping you held back. You're learning the secrets that were keeping you left out. That was making you feel like something wasn't worthy of you. Or you weren't worthy of it. But I feel like you've come into an awareness that you are worthy. 
you don't have to lack anymore for love. You don't have to lack anymore for any kind of expression, for any kind of attention, because I feel like you're getting all the attention. With this King of Wands energy and the Knight of Cups, I feel like you're getting a lot of attention. <clears throat> Tell me more about this situation, Spirit. Tell me more about this reading. I need some clarification. Okay. Yeah, we have the King of Cups. So definitely love coming in for you, Cancer. And this is going to be very thoughtful, very loving, very caring. This is a very caring person. Someone who wants to support you and really take care of your heart. They're able to communicate very clearly. And also able to communicate their feelings, their emotions. We have the Six of Cups. So this may be someone that you already knew, or this may be someone within your friend circle. It may be a friend of a friend or a friend of a family member. But I feel like this person is coming in to try to steal your heart away. You know, that they want to come in and lavish you with love. And I'm not saying they're all wishy-washy or anything like that, but they're... They're very caring. We have the Nine of Wands. <clears throat> so yeah, okay. I feel like this person is being very persistent. They're, they're maintaining that they're not going to give up until they win your heart. They're not going to give up until you <laughs> kind of give in to them. And they're willing to win at no cost. They want to win at no cost. They want you for their own. They, they want your heart. Yeah, all they do is think about you. All they do is think about you day and night. That's, yeah, that's the song that just popped into my head cancer and I feel like yeah they all they do is think about you um, you're on their mind constantly this person is coming in they're coming in strong I mean strong and powerful the ten of Pentacles they definitely see a future with you and you also have the ace of cups they definitely have a strong, strong bond with you. They, they have a strong bond with your heart, Cancer. And I'm not even sure if you realize it. But this person feels you so strongly. They, they feel like you. They want to create a future with you. They want to make things happen. They want to create abundance. They want to live a happy life. They want that happy family. They want long-term stability. This person wants something long-term with you. They want to live out their life with you. So I'm dropping all kinds of cards. Okay, let's see. Okay, Cancer, we have the Six of Wands. Okay, so yeah, this person wants a successful relationship with you. I don't think that they'll take no for an answer. Um, you also have the Page of Pentacles. So they definitely want to send you some sort of message. They want you to view them as your new love thing. They definitely want your attention. You also have the Hermit card. So I think that this person may have been single for a while. They may have been... Um, detached from certain things but they they view you as being single as well so they they're viewing you as being available spending a lot of alone time you know gaining your wisdom 
they see you as someone who is very special, very kind and assertive. Well, if I can get all the cards. Yeah, we have the Page of Wands. So th this person definitely thinks about you a lot. They think about a new beginning with you. They think about passionate times. Very fiery thoughts. They're very tempted by you. Very tempted. You're giving this this person a lot of different thoughts here and I feel like this person wants you this person wants you bad I feel like when it comes to with the devil card being here I feel like this person is very obsessed they're obsessed with you they're obsessed they want you bad the nine of wands like I said, I feel like this is the second time we got the Nine of Wands. I don't think, yeah, it is. It's the second time we got the Nine of Wands. This person is not going to stop until they, they get what they want. They're being very persistent. They know exactly what they want. And they want you, Cancer. You're it. They want you. Let's get some advice for Cancer. Let's get some advice. Answer. in love for January 1st through the 15th reconsider mm. perfect timing get more information okay cancer I feel like this is this is this person kind of letting you know how they feel they don't want you to let go they don't want you to move on they don't want you to you know look past them let go and be free let go they want you just to go with the flow at the bottom you have in the near future. Recover. This message is all over the place. Ask for help from others. Okay, Cancer. <clears throat> and you have romance. Yeah, I, I definitely feel some of this is your energy, Cancer. I feel like you're you're reconsidering a love offer. Um, you're reconsidering maybe someone from your past, but I feel like you're recovering. And you may have to end up asking someone for help. But I feel like this person who's trying very hard to catch your attention, they feel like this is perfect timing because they're available, you're available. You know, that this situation can come about. But Spirit is letting you know, get more information. This may be something that you want to let go of. But, you know, Cancer, you got a huge decision to make. Because I feel like this person is obsessed. They're definitely obsessed. They're not going to stop until you... See their true intentions, you know. I feel like this person is infatuated. This King of Wands, King of Cups energy. They're infatuated. They're so attracted and so tempted by you. That you're all they think about. Let's get some advice from our angels. Let's see what the angels have to say. <clears throat> we have Zana. 
You are protected from all types of harm. The worst is now behind you. I ask you to relax and feel safe. Okay, so you have protection. You have protection in your situation. Um, we also have Bridget. Caution is warranted. Look deeper into the situation before proceeding further. Yeah, so you definitely want to get some more information. Get to know this person before you take a final leap. Um, because you want more information, how they are, what their, you know, what their true intentions are. And Oceana, take action. You're in touch with your truth in this situation and you need to trust your guts and lovingly assert yourself. Yeah, so follow by your intuition, Cancer. Follow your intuition. Go with your gut feeling on this situation and it won't steer you wrong. <clears throat> okay, Cancer. This is your reading. Um, if this reading resonates, please like and subscribe. Hit that bell so that you don't miss any uploads. And... Um, Take a look at your sun, moon, and rising for clarity. I usually during retrogrades, your rising sign is more um, correct with your feelings. So that might resonate more. So if you know your rising sign, take a look at that and see what that says for you. <clears throat> Cancer, Happy New Year. Many blessings to you. Love and light.